Hey everybody. Over the past couple weeks, I have uh, produced a bunch of videos that uh, help people get started uh, from the process of, of choosing a kayak to buying a kayak, things like that. Um, let's do a little walk and talk. Uh, originally, the plan was to create a masterclass series of videos. So I wanted to create uh, content that was similar in style and tone to the masterclass series, uh, which is, if you're unfamiliar with it, is a paid uh, app or website that you access really high quality videos where you learn things from people with a ton of experience in a field. So like Ron Howard teaches directing, uh, Penn and Teller teach magic, things like that. Uh, and I wanted to create something that looked and felt like that and call it a masterclass uh, guide to sea kayaking. Um, it turned out, so I shot a bunch of stuff for it, and it turns out that really, despite everyone says the best camera to have is the camera that you've got, which is true, sort of, I really didn't have the cameras or the microphones to make the content look the way I wanted it to look. And so I decided to put that stuff aside and create uh, just videos like I've been doing, but covering the same topics. So in the past, I don't know, month or so, I've got a video on uh, choosing a kayak and why kayak length matters, uh, a video on kayak care, the differences between rudders and skegs. I'll put links to all of these down below in the doodly-doo. Um, kayak care, um, the difference between rudders and skegs, um, and uh, all sorts of information about PFDs. In the past, I've talked about choosing paddles. Um, and so today I'm gonna continue that with a video on the difference between high angle paddling and low angle paddling. So let's go do that. Oh, the water is Toasty warm. Uh, it's a little deeper than normal. What, your butt? No, I, the, I was in deeper water than when I normally oh. plunk in. Right. Okay, so if you watch my videos or read my books, you know that I am, or have taken lessons with me, which Johnny can attest to. I am fanatical about the forward stroke. Um, I put a lot of thought into it. I'm constantly refi refining and tweaking my own forward stroke. So today we're gonna talk about the low angle versus the high angle forward stroke. And for the most part, I teach the low angle forward stroke, though my, this is gonna get confusing now, my low angle forward stroke is higher than some people's low angle forward stroke, but is still not a high angle forward stroke. Did that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I teach the forward stroke like this. Hands come right across your face, right across your chin. The paddle is still doing a fairly wide arc in the water, and so the boat will do a little bit of a pitch left and right with each stroke. The nice thing about a 17 foot long kayak is that that little pitch back and forth is not very much. Whereas in a 10 foot kayak, that pitch back and forth is gonna be pretty extreme. If you're in a recreational kayak, you're doing a low angle forward stroke, primarily because the boats are so wide, you have no choice. The high angle forward stroke is just that. When we're talking about the angle, we're talking about the angle between my paddle shaft and the horizon, right? So that's low angle. There's still some angle there, but that's low angle. This is high angle. So a much higher angle. The blade is coming down the side of the boat, but I'm still pushing. My hands are still moving across my face. It's still really the angle that has changed. And you will see the real reason for a high angle forward stroke as Johnny is now behind me. He's really a faster paddler than me at this point. Um, the high angle forward stroke is a more aggressive stroke and moves your boat faster. The benefit of the low angle forward stroke is that you can do it all day long. So when I paddled the inside passage, we just got into a groove and did low angle strokes all day until, and this is how I use a high angle forward stroke, uh, 
something occurred where I needed to sprint. Or when I'm teaching, if something occurs where I need to sprint to a student, I'll transition quickly from low angle, which is this, to high angle, which is this. And I may only do a couple of strokes to get up to speed and then slide back into a low angle. And I can increase my cadence a little bit to, uh, where did all this wind come from? That wind just completely picked up. I'll increase my cadence a little bit to keep that speed going. But that's the difference between a high angle and a low angle. Um, high angle really comes from whitewater paddling, which is more aggressive to begin with, because um, you have to move a lot of water. If you're gonna paddle a high angle stroke, I would do a wider blade, I'm looking at your blade, the Caliste is a little bit wider than the Camano, but not as wide as the Athena. I'm guessing, I think the Cypress is the other high angle blade from Werner. Um, because it's designed to move more water faster, you want a bigger blade. Um, and then the flip side, a bigger blade, in theory, is going to be a little bit harder to move through the water just because there's a little more resistance from it. So that's the, the differentiation between a high angle and a low angle stroke. Did that all make sense? Actually, it did. Okay, good. Do you ever use a high angle? No. No, never. No reason.